Good morning students, welcome to ABN and PR College online classes. Let us continue the applications of Mount Duncan Virgin theorem. Now we want to prove that the sequence is given by 1 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 square and so on and by 3 power n is convergent. To prove this sequence is convergent, to apply a Mount and Convergent theorem, the first case is to prove given sequence is either monotone sequence or not. And second case is about boundedness. Coming to the case 1, consider consecutive term Sn plus 1 for the given sequence that is equal to 1 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 square and so on 1 by 3 power n plus 1 what is the before term 1 by 3 power n now consider the difference between these two consecutive terms which is equal to observe that sn and sn plus 1 consisting the same term and sn plus 1 is containing excess term is the 1 by 3 power n plus 1 obviously this is positive that means sn plus 1 minus sn value is positive for every n using transitivity sn plus 1 is bigger than sn bigger terms are more than smaller one it is only happens whenever the sequence is increasing that means our sequence terms are like this smaller one smaller terms are smaller than bigger terms sn is less than or equal to sn plus 1 plus and so on which means that uh, s1 is the least term then it is the lower bound whenever uh, we obtain lower bound implies sequence sn is bounded below once we conclude that it is an increasing sequence then it is a monotone sequence and uh, one more condition is we observed here it is a bounded below sequence coming to the second case Coming to the case 2, our SN is like this. This is nothing but a geometric sequence series. All the terms are in the form of geometric series. What is geometric series? 1 plus r plus r square plus and so on r power n. This can be written as 1 minus r power n by 1 minus r provided r value is less than 1. Or we can write the summation value as r power n minus 1 by r minus 1 if r value is more than 1. Okay. Here you observe that r value is 1 by 3. Then we can apply this condition. What is the r value 1 by 3? Then we can write it as 1 by 3 whole power n by 1 minus 1 by 3. This is the value of uh, our sequence this is equal to denominator value is 1 minus 1 by 3 can be written as 3 minus 1 that is 2 by 3 1 by 2 by 3 can be written as 3 by 2 isn't it so 3 by 2 into 1 minus 1 by 3 whole power n this is our sn value which can be written as by multiplying with 3 by 2 3 by 2 into 1 by 3 all power n now observe that from 3 by 2 some value is subtracted here what is the relation between the s term and 3 by 2 this term is obviously less than 3 by 2 because some value is subtracted here is being true for all terms of the sequence that is our sequence is less than 3 by 2 for every n therefore 3 by 2 is an upper bound upper bounds then contain the implies sn is bounded 
అబ్బో బౌండెడ్ అబౌవ్ సీక్వెన్స్లకి అప్పర్ బౌండ్స్ ఉంటాయి మనం ముందు ఆల్రెడీ చూపించాం బౌండెడ్ బిల్లో అని ఇక్కడ బౌండెడ్ అబౌవ్ అవుతుంది ఎ సీక్వెన్స్ విచ్ ఈస్ బౌండెడ్ బిల్లో యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ బౌండెడ్ అబౌవ్ దెన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ బౌండెడ్ లెట్ ఇట్ బి టూ ఫ్రమ్ వన్ we confirmed that our sequence is a monotone sequence from to we have it is a bounded sequence then we can easily apply monotone convergent theorem what it says whenever a monotone sequence is bounded then we can we can easily say that sequence is an is convergent by monotone theorem application okay thank you